if you haven't come across my channel before, I love everything luxury fashion, shopping, makeup, and fitness. Um, and today I'm going to talk about my Dior navy blue saddle in oblique. I want to tell you about what I originally thought about it, a bit of history, price, um, a bit of moss shot stylings, what fits, all of that. So, without further ado, here is the bag. Yay! I love, love, love this bag. So the original iteration of this was designed by John Galliano back in 2000. It launched for his spring summer 2000 collection. And at that point, it was the it bag for over a year. Paris Hilton had it. Um, Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City wore it. It was the it bag and it, it just slowly faded away. And come towards 2018, it was redesigned. So it is a very, very similar shape to 2000, but some of the class and hard work got updated. Um, and now that actually came out in 2018. So over three years ago now. And do I still think it is a classic? After three years, I want to say yes. So I actually did see this in 2018. I was in Paris in 2018 when this first launched. And I actually did notice that it wasn't something that was flying off the shelves. Um, I already owned at that point the Lady Dior and the Diorama in, within the Dior collection. And I love Dior. I think it's such a classic fashion house. And I, and I consider this, I tried on this as well as that um, belt bag of the, 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 this um, saddle shape. But I just didn't know. I didn't know if it was going to be a classic redesign. I didn't know how long it would stay for. And I, I try to only buy bags that have staying power. This is probably, I'm like contradicting to myself, but this is one of my more trendy like bags, but I believe it's still classic. So this bag comes in two sizes now. This is, I would just say the regular size. The Dior just calls it the saddle bag. And there's a mini version of this. Um, the mini version, I can't put it up at my shoulder. Um, but the, this size, which I consider maybe the medium, but just the regular size, I can. So I prefer this size much, much more. I did consider both sizes. So I tried on the mini in stores and this one. And the mini one is completely useless for me. I can't even put my phone in it. And I don't even have a big phone. I have the iPhone XS. I'm not even the pro, not even the large size. And the mini can't even fit that. So that was a instant no. Uh, surprisingly, actually a lot fit in here. Um, maybe people think it's a weird shape. I, I, I know that people think it's like considered the liver shape, but I actually never saw it that way. I actually love the shape. I love how unique it is. All my bags are they're just squares and rectangles. So this was a really nice refresh. Um, and I feel like there's so many ways you can dress this up. But let me show you what I have currently in my bag. And I feel like this is something that definitely carries all my daily essentials and a little bit more. So even though it's a weird shape, I actually find it packs just as much as a normal size bag. It's quite wide, if you can see on the bottom here. And it has an inner zip pocket as well. So right now I just have a, a huge scrunchie, my large bifold wallet. And then that just fits at the top. And it does fit my phone at the top section here because it's really wide. And then at this part of that liver shape, I actually put the small essentials there. So I have my AirPods. So that actually fits perfectly within this shape here, if you can see that. And I have a lipstick and some keys. So it actually fits quite a lot. Again, I don't really use that zipper in our zipper pocket, uh, but you could definitely throw in if you wanted to carry like another compact or if you had a larger phone or um, you could definitely, instead of bringing a wallet, you could just bring a couple of key, uh, your cards and your 
um, cash just right in the zipper pocket if you wanted to do that. But I find it fits my large wallets, no problem. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy about the size and what it fits. So talking about price and also about the shoulder strap. So a lot of people, I'll insert some photos and some cutaways. Um, a lot of people use the shoulder strap and they buy, it's an additional accessory. So this bag currently, it sits at $4,600 Canadian, um, which is 3,600 USD. And surprisingly, it's actually the same price for the leather one. Um, like the calfskin grain calfskin in white or black or the other colors um, once it comes to like the ultra matte all um, like the so black ones they're a little bit higher priced by like a couple hundred dollars and then the mini saddle one it's three thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars Canadian which is three thousand ninety USD so it's I would say like there are $700 difference in price point for the smaller and larger size, but I definitely would go for the larger. Um, I think the mini is absolutely useless. But then this one I can, so this one I actually think the shoulder strap is actually quite large. Um, it definitely fits over, this is like a pretty hefty um, winter jacket and it still fits over my shoulders, no problem. And I think most people, I don't think this is an issue. Um, and I know a lot of people buy that extra shoulder strap for a crossbody option. I personally didn't get it. I'm not really a crossbody person. And also the shoulder strap costs 1500 to 1850 which is about 1170 to 1450 USD. So another like $1,500 just for the strap alone. Um, and that would just make this bag about $7,000. So that's just... A little bit too much I think I would want to spend on this bag um, but I actually think that you can use any other strap so if you had other straps from your bags you could definitely just hook it on here there's no allocated ring for these straps so you would just hook it onto that D on both sides and use it as to hook it on so I don't necessarily think it's worth the price to buy that additional shoulder strap but to buy this bag on its own I do personally think it is worth it um, and it launched in 2018 and it's already 2021 I still see it in the stores and I see it in other iterations um, and I personally think that in 2022 it will still go strong I think that if you wanted it to last for 10 years, like that test of time, I think you're better off with like a Chanel or Dior or a Mez. But if you wanted it to rock this bag for the next two or three years, I definitely still think it's relevant. So I think if you wanted a forever, forever classic piece, I don't think this is it. But if you wanted something if you want to still ride that trend, it's still definitely relevant right now. I think it is worth it. I personally love John Galliano's designs and I am appreciative to have and own this bag in my collection. I think it makes for such a unique piece. So for saying that, yes, I am happy I got it. I have no regrets. I also don't really own many navy blue items. Um, and I find it still works really well with black, which is the majority of my wardrobe, but I'm going to throw in now um, some styling and how I'm going to style this for you. <laughs>